Just 85 days until launch. Indeed. Super excited to get a little bit more hands on with everybody else today. You know, Gamescom, going to be good. Hey, me as well. Hey there, I'm Andy Bravo Dodinsky, former Pro Halo coach. And joining me today is my European counterpart and esports shoutcaster, Richard Sims. Thanks, Bravo. As we just saw, the Halo multiplayer legacy continues to evolve in Halo 5 Guardians. And today, it's all about Arena. Arena is Halo's esports focus 4v4 mode with even stats, an intense mix of Slayer and objective game types. And in Arena, I think this new map that we're unveiling right now will be a top choice in tournament play moving forward. Let's take a look at Coliseum, which has everything that makes a great competitive Arena experience. It's a symmetrical two-base map, which includes a unique mix of elevation and sidelines, and it's purposely built for a wide variety of fast-paced multiplayer modes. Now, in anticipation of the Halo 5 Guardians Gamescom Invitational happening here at the ESL Arena, we invited two of the top Halo Pro teams in the world, Epsilon Esports and Optic Gaming, to play some preliminary matches at the 343 Industries headquarters in Seattle. Let's talk a little bit about these two teams then, Bravo. Epsilon Esports is one of the best teams in all of Europe, made up of varying UK players, including the Buck Twins, Buck 57 and Buck 20, one of the winningest duos in European Halo. Now, Halo has predominantly been dominated by the North American team, so the question was, can Epsilon upset the balance and change the compass needle. And that's it. And on the other side of the stage, we have fan favorites Optic Gaming from the US, led by Halo veteran Flamesword and the winner of the 2013 Halo 4 Global Championship, Ace. Now, these two teams have never played before, so of course, a lot of speculation on the line of who would come away with the ultimate victory. Now, over the course of the visit, these two teams battled a match after match of intense competition. They all rounded up with the best of three series on Capture the Flag on the new map, Coliseum. I have to tell you, Sims, I got a chance to see each and every one of these matches and these two teams were neck and neck throughout the entire series, but it all came down to one last game. You know what, let's jump on that and take a look at some of the most clutchest moments of that final game. All right, so we're going to be checking out, for the first time ever, Coliseum in Halo 5 Guardians. The game is going to be capture the flag, three captures to win, or the top score after 12 minutes. Our two teams in red will be Optic Gaming, and in blue, it'll be Epsilon Esports. Going to kick things off here with Flame Sword off the break, but Sims, one of the first things you're going to notice are the player outlines here. Halo 5 Guardians has made some major investments and esports features, and some of that is giving players better camera and spectator tools to make sure they can tell the best story they can during a match. Take a look at this, Flamesword picks up the double kill. And now we move across at the moment, it's Jimbo coming back on the defensive. He knows someone's in the cave, Grenade goes in, he spots it. Ace has got the sniper rifle, this will be a big kill, which he manages to get. The flag is there, however, he turns around, spots Maniac, takes him down, big double kill, and he gets the return as well. Yes, big plays from Jimbo indeed, but on the other side of the map for Team Europe, it's Buzz 20 grabbing the second overshield of the game for his squad. Epsilon Esports. He's going to use that to push into the enemy base and grab the first flag of the match. Take a look at that on your screen. Flag juggling has returned here in Halo 5 Guardians as Buck 20 escorts that flag all the way across the map and overshield in hand. He finally gets a little bit of late pressure though as he rounds this corner, but in doing so, Sims, Epsilon Esports will go up 1 to 0 with 10 20 left in the match. Moving forward with Buck 20 again. He's back in Optic's base and just in their face as he pushes in. He finds a tall half shield, takes him down, no problem. Goes for the second pull of this flag. match. Ace comes back for a little bit defensive. He thrusts out. Then all of a sudden we see Flamesaw come out of nowhere. He gets taken down. Ace does come back for a little bit of a defensive shot. However, Buck 20 says no. He's going to run that straight out of the front bridge at the moment. As we see him moving forward. Takes the flag. Jumps, thrusts, toggles. And he managed to clamber up into the blue courtyard. He's going to run that forward. However, he's going to take some shots in the back. But that doesn't matter at all. He has his teammate sniped up right behind him to get the collection. Yeah, absolutely. He's forced to go up 2-0. to zero, But let's take a look at that replay right there. Slow it down a bit. Look at that jump, toss, thrust, and clamber using those brand new smart abilities to escort the flag all the way across the map and Epsilon Esports will secure that point and go up in the match 2 to 0. Back on board with Jim Bossy right now, putting some cracking shots across the map. Manages to land a headshot with the Magnum. Sends to his left, he's going to get some defense there. Finds Ace, Grenade goes in. Will he clean up this kill? Yes, he does indeed as he thrusts around the corner, finds the salt, takes him down. Another big double kill for Jimbo. But there's more in store for Jimbo here. Take a look at this. The overshield power up is about to drop. Here he comes. Boom! Lands the Spartan charge, stealing the overshield out from underneath the optic gaming setup. Seems we got to run that back one more time. That overshield power up. So pivotal, but look at this. Jimbo with four enemy players on his screen. He swoops in here, landing that perfectly timed Spartan charge. Also uses the thruster pack to grab the overshield. That's going to have Epsilon Esports continue their control of the bottom of the map. Now back into the match in real time. You see as Maniac is desperately trying to shut down Jimbo some way, somehow. He jumps up here, but Jimbo will land the punch to the face. 
Coming off the spot now with Maniac. He's going to get himself at the moment. Yes, he does. He gets a punch himself. Fight Smack don't have shield. Takes him down. Grabs the sniper, Bravo. But you know what, Bravo? There's only 1 minute 30 remaining in the game. Right. He needs to make something happen and he needs to do it now, which is exactly what he does. He's going to run that straight out the front bitch now. Looking for some support from his teammates, but unfortunately, he just finds Jimbo. Jimbo again with another defensive return. Too much defense here from Jimbo in the back left quadrant of his map. He's going to take one player out. Yes, indeed. Spots the second here on the second. And it's going to be an assist there, but spots the third and uses the ground pound stall. The pressure from Epsilon Esports is just too great. We switch over to Buck 20 in the last moments of the match, but the clock is ticking down, and Epsilon Esports will win the game 2-0 and win the final series with a score of 3-1. to one. Congratulations to Epsilon Esports on that incredibly clutch win. Europe takes this first round, showing the American teams that they have a little something to think about. Oh, I think that is the case indeed there, Sims. I believe they have a little bit to think about. Like you said, North America, of course, usually on top.